Hello. Watch your step, kid. Oh, thanks. I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Graham, the pleasure's mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventry can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. My own invention, of course. Oh, what does a crumbler do? It lifts, it chops, it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies, which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. It seems that way. Daventry's been an interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the Queen died. And now, with the bridges out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. So, how did you find an eye? Pick, pick, pickety pick. Precious. The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrels. Get out of here! Square! Shoot! Beat it! Ugh. These dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches! I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. Hey, Graham. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. I woke up on the floor, my bed nowhere to be found. Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. Ready for action? Do you have any idea where I can hunt down an eye of a hideous beast? What a glorious day for a tournament. My favorite time of year. Fire ride new recruits, the clanks and clinks of armor clashing, and the action the very finest. One hopeful always rises to the occasion. I love it all. Some people in town, they complain about the barbaric events, but it's a tradition I'm proud to be a part of. If I was competing, I'd go after the biggest, scariest beast I could find even if it meant certain death. As they say, fortune favors the bold. You, on the other hand, have a kind heart. Probably wouldn't blind a beast just to win a competition. Your arms look like they've never even held a bow. No, you're just too nice. But perhaps you'll prove me wrong. So, I've been meaning to ask. 
What is that amazing blade for? Is it for battling vicious werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? Oh, that? No, no, that's for gardening. I use it to trim my hedges. Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, I'm willing to part with it for the price of one shiny gold coin. I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attending. Bye. Fortune favors the bold, and Amaya favors the fortune. Back away from the crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. How much for that twisty dagger over there? It's not for sale. Needs a bit more work. You aren't the delivery boy, are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, hush feathers, Chester. This boy's no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He appears to be a compassionate gentleman, but he is clearly out of his comfort zone. He is one who needs to think more with his brain and less with his heart if he is going to defeat the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, we're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true, we're judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Well, we've shifted our core business to potions, curiosities, and the occasional practical joke. <laughs> uh, we gladly share our wisdom for free, but everything else starts at one shiny gold coin. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. It looked like some type of broken lantern. Ooh, what are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kinda like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. Reminds me of our son. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. How can we help? Do you have any eyes of hideous beasts in stock? An eye, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, your name, please? Uh, it's Graham. Last name? Graham. Graham, Graham, with a G, I assume. <laughs> I don't see your name on this list. Oh, you did pre-order, right? Uh, pre-order? Oh, yes, this time of year our eyes fly off the shelves. If you haven't pre-ordered, you're out of luck. Our eyes are completely on back order. If you'd like, we can put you on the waiting list for our next shipment. When will that arrive? We get shipments every eight months. <sighs> I'm afraid that won't work. Well, hang on a sec. It's Graham, right? May we bend your ear for a bit? Bend away. You need an eye for the tournament, I'm guessing. Yes, I have always dreamed of becoming a knight. Why? With Daventry's addendums this and proclamations that, it seems a frightful business. Do you have any idea how many royal guards we lose to that voracious moat monster? Well, my father was a knight, and my grandfather was a knight, and my great-grandfather... Well, he was a dentist, but his father was a knight. Basically, I come from a long line of protecting crowns. I started looking for knight jobs while I was still in the academy, but once I graduated, all the opportunities had dried up. I might not fit in here, but Daventry's my last shot. Oh, you'll fit in just fine. It might be too late to capture the rule-defined eye of a hideous beast. But rules will bend for those who can outsmart the rule-makers. 
So, I've just got to know, what is brewing in that cauldron? Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout the wings of an eagle? Or a fly? Oh, this? Teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's got to change everything. Watch this. Behold the power of whitening! Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, we're still working out the kinks. While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there free of charge. Ooh, how much for that candle? Our everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. Someone brought it in for repair but never paid. Tell you what, if you bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle... You can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin. Fare thee well. May your quest be logic field. Hello there, and good afternoon, if I do say so myself. Sometimes you roll the dice, and they all come up wenty. Even though the bridges are out, and my supplier has gone missing, I sold yesterday's bread when I wasn't even here. Oh, I wish more people were that trustworthy around Daventry. Now, you fine strapping lad, how may I help you? I am here to serve. That's not a delicious, chocolate, hideous beast's eye cake I smell cooking, is it? Looking for an eye, are you? Well, it must be that time of year again. Frankly, I can't tolerate it. The Fays weren't raised that way. It's archaic! So much fighting and needless killing! Compassion comes from the heart, you know? As does food! If you want to get to the heart of any problem, all you need is pie! You look like a compassionate fella, uh, like myself. And I think we're going to get along right as raisins. Uh, please, don't take part in the violence. Got any free samples? Oh, today only. I'm letting people sample our new walnut strudel. However, I ran out of bitter root. It's really nasty on its own, but it really brings out the nutty flavor of the strudel. It usually grows under big, heavy rocks. If you can find me some, you can have all the free samples you want. What's today special? <laughs> oh, well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie. A delicacy big enough to feed an army. Or someone with the appetite of an army. I've eaten it in one sitting before. Well, don't judge. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? Unfortunately, my ingredients haven't been delivered, and I can't complete the recipe. Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Ah, tell you what, if you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted price of one gold coin. Good day. Don't forget to follow your heart. Was he trying to set the record for the world's biggest pie? Hmm. Amaya looked like... Oh, custard! Oh, just like my mom used to make. Oh, I'm saving that pie for a special occasion. Uh... Sorry, 